Hey there, big booby sisters. Um, if you clicked on this video, you probably already know that there are pros and cons to having large breasts. And possibly you're considering a breast reduction or you just wanna learn how to deal with your big boobs better. Um, I have five suggestions on how to deal with your big boobs without resorting to surgery. Stick around. Hello, my big booby friends. So in my last video, I talked about my breast reduction, which I had five years ago, and some of the reasons I wouldn't necessarily recommend the procedure. But that's for another video. In this video, I wanna talk about five alternatives to breast reduction that I would like to offer up to you to consider as you are trying to make this decision. Sisters, I have been on both sides of the fence. I had really big boobs when I was younger and in my late 30s, I had a breast reduction and my boobs were still pretty big and then they got bigger again. So now they're actually bigger than they were before my breast reduction. So for me, that means that I have gotten to learn how to live with big boobs and how to love them and or at least I'm working on the love them part so I want to share a couple of tips with you about what I've learned yeah, are some good ways to accept live with and deal with your large breasts number one learning what clothes flatter your body type so for me one of the reasons that I wanted to have a breast reduction is that I found it really difficult to wear to find clothing that fits. Button up shirts were out of the question. I know that's almost cliche if you're a large breasted woman. Uh, getting a shirt that fits your shoulders and your waist as well as your bust is like super difficult. Those buttons are always popping open. But it wasn't just the button up shirts, it's all different kinds of styles. There are some styles of clothing just, that just don't really work for large breasted people and then the good news is there's some styles of clothing that really do work well for large breasted women and flatter them. Look down below in the description, I put a link to some of my Pinterest pages. I have put together some ideas about clothes that flatter women who have a larger bust and how to make that look really good instead of making uh, having the breasts make your body in clothes not look as good because um, there are some outfits that do not flatter busty women and then there are some that look really awesome. So check out that link for some fashion suggestions on things that you can do to look hot in your clothes when you have big boobs. Idea number two, get a really, really good bra. Now I'm gonna put some pictures up on the screen of me in a so-so bra. And this is the last time I shopped at Victoria's Secret, the bra that I came out with when they sized me. And then when I sized myself, the bra that I ended up with that I think is really my true size and a better fit. You can see by looking at the pictures that uh, in the white bra, that's the Victoria's Secret bra, in the white bra, um, my breasts are sitting lower, they look wider, um, there's also a back fat problem. The way that bra fits, it's kind of making back fat show up when I'm wearing my clothes or when I'm not wearing my clothes. Uh, compare that to the black bra, which is a properly fitting bra. Um, for me, that means it was a much bigger cup size and a tighter band size. So the underwire of the bra actually went way farther back than the Victoria's Secret bra, which is because it was a bigger cup size and that actually was able to contain my breasts more. In the white bra, they were just getting really squished in. So I have a whole other video about bra fitting, but Getting a better bra and getting a really good quality bra is going to make you look thinner and much more flattering to the breasts. It's going to lift those large ladies up and it's lift and separate. 
Um, what doesn't look good is a bra that kind of creates the uniboob effect or that doesn't lift up the boobs enough. So um, a bra that doesn't fit you properly might let the boobs hang lower and you don't even necessarily realize it's happening. But look at the difference between those two bras. Uh, one that I thought fit me, the white one, and one that really does fit me. You can see my breasts are sitting way higher. It looks so much better with clothes on and it's a lot more comfortable and supportive too. Number three, therapy. Now this does probably sound like an out of place suggestion for this video, but for me, one big part of my journey, I had my breast reduction five years ago and I found out after the breast reduction that I still wasn't comfortable with my body, I still wasn't happy with my body and the breast reduction certainly did not fix my body image issues. Um, in that journey, I happened to have quite a lot of therapy. I spent several years going to see a therapist and digging into some of what my actual internal struggles really are. And I've come to the conclusion out on the other side of that journey that for me, um, the plastic surgery decisions that I made five years ago were kind of coming from a deeper place of internal struggle. It wasn't just because oh my boobs are big so my back hurts it wasn't really about that like the underlying reasons were different um, you know in hindsight now that I've already had the surgery I can kind of look back on that and go I didn't really need that maybe that wasn't the best decision so I would suggest considering you know talking to a counselor about your thoughts about your body and maybe discovering some of the deeper places that your body concerns are coming from. So number four, this is one that's a little bit more lighthearted and that is to list the pros of having large breasts. There are some really nice things about big boobs. Um, if you're in a place of thinking about a breast reduction, you're probably really focused on the negatives of having big boobs, um, of which is an easy list to make. Um, but there are also some positives and um, if you can focus on the positives, it probably makes you like yourself better in the condition that you're in. And the fifth thing that I have personally done to appreciate my breasts more instead of dislike them is I have started paying attention to the body positive movement. And again, I'm gonna refer you to Pinterest down below. Um, I have some links to some pictures of some curvier women um, and how they handle their big boobs, how they rock their big boobs and look gorgeous. Uh, so I really would like to point out those to you. It's really helped me to kind of reframe some of the ideas of what I have, that what's beautiful, what looks good. Um, thinking about uh, curvier body types and like I have and maybe like you have and trying to spin that into a positive because it really is a positive so uh, for me seeing images of happy healthy beautiful women who are curvy it really helps me to kind of keep in my mind a positive attitude about having a curvy body and it makes me like my my curves a little bit better so check out the Pinterest and uh, maybe you will find it inspiring if you follow that I keep adding all the time um, new body positive images and beautiful ladies with curves so maybe you'll enjoy that too